what the nutritionals are for each and every recipe in the book. Now, Virginia Willis is our author. She is a blogger. She is a contributing editor for Southern Living Magazine, and this is her fifth cookbook, and she's also Southern by birth. Come in here, Miss Virginia. <laughs> How are you, love? I'm so good. Thank you so much for having me mm -hmm. on the show. Great to oh, see you. It's a pleasure. Your book is marvelous. Thank you so much. I am so tickled about this book, and I can't wait to dig in. I need to let everyone know, already over 200 books are gone. Bravo. Everybody Yay. is excited. This is the only day advanced order price, because this is shipping out very soon. It's shipping out on the 3rd, which is Tuesday. Exactly. Your street date is Tuesday, my <laughs> friend. I know you've got a book tour coming this up. This makes me so hungry, looking at all this May delicious I say because this is so close to ship week and or ship date and Virginia's about to leave on her book tour we were not able to get a lot of these books in so with already 200 gone this should should go very very quickly life is short let's eat mac and cheese first <laughs> this is amazing because you incorporate vegetables in here one of my favorites broccoli love broccoli so let's dig in here and talk to me about this so this is creamy and cheesy and even though it's lightened up I promise you David there are three different kinds of cheeses in this broccoli okay mac and you cheese. had me at three cheeses three All cheeses right. Is three cheeses. Look at that. It's creamy and rich and delicious. And the thing that was the most important to me is that the food it needed to be lightened up, but the, the main thing is that it had to taste good. Oh. It really had to taste good. Now, here we go. It really had to taste good. Mm. Creamy and rich. And I promise mm. you, <laughs> you would never know that was lightened up, would you? Okay, I need you to get hands in the air. Because we're going happy dance and we're going clockwise. Ready? Oh, happy dance. dance! Happy dance! Get it! Yay. That's a mac and cheese happy dance. And it's a lightened version, but those three cheeses are so creamy. Rich and creamy. Oh my gosh, and then we've got the crispy, crunchy panko on top. Now, this next thing is going to absolutely shut it down. Mary, I have shepherd's pie made with chicken, but you know what's on top of the shepherd's pie? Grits. Grits. We've Not got some even grits. Kidding. We've Can got we dig some right grits. in here? Yes. My arms are long. I'll get in here. Talk to us about this because you put, instead of mashed potatoes on top, you put grits. Exactly. So these are whole grain, stone ground grits, which you can get widely at many grocery stores. This is real food for real people. And it's chicken and it's collards? It's chicken and uh, spinach, actually. Oh, but spinach. you can smell the aroma. Mm. There's actually a little bit of cinnamon there. Oh. Yeah. So it's, nice. it's lots of nice, bold flavors. Mm. This doesn't make you feel deprived. No, ma'am. It doesn't make you feel deprived at all. Virginia, it's really. A, and those grits are so creamy. Aren't they creamy? So yummy. Aren't they creamy? Really? Oh, my gosh. I need to show you all this book because this book is amazing. Now, Virginia is no stranger to cooking. No. These are family recipes that family you've Family recipes, up. exactly. Gorgeous color photos. Now, there are 100 recipes in the book. There are 75 color photos. So you're going to have just about every recipe getting a, a, getting a photograph. There are um, finished dishes. There are also how-to and ingredient shots. I really like sort of get in the kitchen with people and let them know what they want to cook. Look at this, you guys. If you're concerned about nutritionals, they're in there. Every single recipe, including including the sassy slaw. <laughs> okay, sassy. sassy. Here is your nutritional information: calories, fat, carbs, fiber, and protein. Every recipe has nutritionals. So don't miss out on this. How many books are gone now, Sean? 1,000 books are now gone. We're very busy on our phone lines. Can we have peach cobbler, please? We can have peach cobbler. Oh, we can have peach I'm cobbler. I'm gonna get all up in it. All right, now peach cobbler is down front here. I've got a bowl got here. A bowl there. So this is peach cobbler because you know I'm a Georgia peach, right? So yes, we have to have have to have peach cobbler. Let me see if I can get this a big is, um, another. So go. this is uh, uh, my grandmother's peach cobbler recipe that I just did a few things to, and Ooh. we've made it lighter. But the, the the part about this, David, is that I think that if you try this in comparison to other cobblers, you would never know it was lightened up. Now, is this for the uh, chili or for the cobbler? That's for the cobbler. Okay, so That's a little, cobbler. little whip topping? Exactly. It's, um, it's actually what I call vanilla cream. Ooh, and it's a combination of yogurt, 2% yogurt and, and sugar and a little bit of vanilla. So some nice camouflage yeah, items there. Yeah. Perfect. Here we go, yeah, peach cobbler. Peach cobbler. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are we going to do it again? Mm -hmm. Are we going to do it again? Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> that makes me happy seeing you do your dance. Out a big dance. bite Happy dance, happy dance, happy <laughs> dance. That's peach cobbler, and it's lightened up. Lightened and that up. sauce, the, the whipped topping with the yogurt yes. is perfect. Yes, yes. See, I promise you, it doesn't feel like diet food, diet food. This book is not about saying no. It's about saying yes. S sin less seven-layer dip, right, which right. is marvelous. How about buttermilk biscuits, but instead of 
regular pork sausage gravy, you do a turkey sausage gravy. Exactly. So these are buttermilk biscuits, and they're beautiful. They're light, and they're flaky, and they're tender. I have one back here. Just like a real biscuit. And instead of, like you said, instead of like a pork sausage gravy, I use a turkey sausage gravy. Mm. And that, can't you just taste this? Virginia. <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> yes, that sir. That is delicious. Thank you. And I love sausage gravy on biscuits. Like you, I like, like, Peanut butter loves jelly. I'm, oh my word, those are great. When, when I go to heaven, I hope there are rivers of gravy there because mm. I love me some gravy. I love me some gravy. <laughs> you guys, our price goes away end of day today. 1,500 books are already gone. We are very, very busy on our phone lines. Tell me about your chili. All right, so the chili is, a, is what I call damn good dog chili. I'm a okay. University of Georgia fan. Come on, get it. So this is red and black chili, but it's meaty and rich. It's got cumin and chilies and a little Love bit of heat cumin. in there. Yeah. And it's meaty. You can see how meaty and thick and rich it is. Mm, um, it's a combination of ground turkey and ground chicken. So even though it's a little bit uh, cold outside, we've still got some, the, some chili that Ooh. folks are going to love. Yes, we do. Is this the sassy slaw? This is this is actually a apple carrot raisin slaw. Ooh, so you know how there's apple raisin slaw and then there's carrot slaw. What I did was I mashed them up. Okay. And typically this dressing has a cup of oil and a half a cup of sugar. And I want you to taste that mm. because it's creamy and and just the perfect amount of perfect. sweetness. It's, it's not light, too sweet. And then you get a big old piece of apple in there. Right, exactly. It's perfect. So you don't miss it. So what I've done here and what I've done with a lot of the dressings is it's a combination of the 2% Greek yogurt and mayonnaise or 2% Greek yogurt mm. and sour cream. You never miss it. You never miss the fat. We're going to invite all y'all to lighten up because this is an amazing book. It's only available at this price until end of day today. This ships out on Tuesday, which is the day that Virginia's media blitz and her book tour begins. Having been through this myself, I know you've got some excitement <laughs> ahead of you. I need some pointers. This is marvelous. Congratulations on your marvelous book. 2,000 books are gone. We continue to be very busy on the phone lines. Please use automated ordering. And Miss Virginia, may I give you a Thank hug? Thank you so much, Thank David. You, it's precious. really been a pleasure. It's lovely meeting you. Thank you. All the best during your book tour. Thank you so much. Go get them. Go get them. All right, I there will. you go. Take this one. All You'll right, need it. Thank there you we so go. Much. Lighten hey. up, y'all. Oh, that's right. Lighten up. Go on, get it. <laughs> oh, I'm headed um, this way, Mary. Yes, you are. I have to go to the other studio. Oh. How's the chat going today, love? It's going great. And, um, oh, and we've got some Philadelphia Flower Show stuff to talk about, don't we? We sure do. All right, well, Because have... Maria asked a very good question in the chat. Oh, okay. Well, you answer Maria. I'm going to uh -huh. get ready for the George Foreman Grill. Uh -huh. Do I have good. some cobbler on me? A little bit on your chin there. Oh, that you was going to be a snack for the drive home, but okay. Well, you still got wings in your pocket. <laughs> uh, so while David's moving, you know what? Maria in our chat, we chat live throughout every In the Kitchen with David on David's Facebook page. She just asked a great question. Is David going to be 